All right, guys, obviously this is not my kitchen. I'm out here in LA with my guy Marquez from the Green Bay Packers. What's going on? He's a very passionate cook as well, and he's joining me in the kitchen today to make some blackened salmon pasta for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping this onion. Why don't you take a minute to tell the people uh, kind of what got you into cooking? Yeah, man, so um, I've been cooking kind of my whole life. You know, I learned from my grandma and my dad. Um, you know, I came in from New Orleans, so just being, you know, part of that culture, you know, food's right. been a, a big thing. Um, so, been cooking, just learning stuff, you know, over my years of time, just rocking out. What was uh, one, of the, one of the first things that you learned how to cook? Uh, pasta. That was the first thing I learned how to cook was pasta. Um, a good choice for our, our dish today. Though. I actually didn't learn how to make like, you know, the original sauce, um, not right. using a jar until like probably like five years ago, man. So there we go. I've been experimenting with that. Um, I actually used one of your recipe to kind of get me to that next step of like what I wanted to be and, and where I want my pasta to go. So, you know, pasta is one of my favorite foods to make. Um, and so I think that's been really cool for me to just keep experimenting and trying different things. So with all the working out that you do, obviously, for your profession, are you good with eating pasta year round or do you have a specific diet you try Man, to stick to? I, I do not have a diet at no. all. I literally Must eat whatever be nice. I want to eat. You got the Ojo Cinco diet? Man, I can eat candy every day and, and go out and, and still perform well at Rhyme 4-3. I like it. So, so all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start prepping the salmon. Uh, I'm gonna go down with a little bit of seasoned salt at first. I'm gonna prep one and then I'm gonna let you do the other one. So you wanna uh, you know, season from up high, that way you get good surface area coverage particularly with like the uh, the chili powder that we're gonna use, because that's gonna give it that nice blackened look. Going down with a little Old Bay. Shout out to my people in the uh, Mid-Atlantic region. Do y'all got Old Bay in Green Bay? Not a, nah. The wrong bay? <laughs> the wrong bay. You, you can definitely get it. Uh, it ain't something that's used um, a lot, you know. Speaking of that, what's uh, how's the food in Green Bay? Um, believe it or not, probably at our facility has the, the best food. Um, obviously because you know we got a lot of athletes who care about their diets and stuff and i'm not one of those guys so right believe it or not um but no nah, i think our facility has some of the best food i mean there's there's good places all around that has good food in right. green bay but i think for sure that's um one of the places that i would eat at regularly is our facility that's a good answer you know especially in the contract year right <laughs> yeah <laughs> so how long have you been in the league for uh, those that don't know this is uh, going to be my fourth year. Okay. So, you know, all been with Green Bay. They drafted me out of South Florida. Fifth round, right? Mm -hmm. Fifth round. So. I like the, the focus that you got on the season. Yeah, man, this is important. That's the most yeah. important thing. That's the fact. <laughs> That's the most important thing. All right, so now we're gonna flip it over and do the money side or. All right, so on the presentation side, I try to take my time a little bit. I like to add the chili powder last because that's gonna give it that nice dark blackened look. Got you. Uh, so that's the top layer for me. Um, we're also using the smallest cutting board in America because <laughs> we're in an Airbnb. Um, so we're working with what we got, guys. So we're going down with the seasoned salt, a little bit of garlic powder. You wanna kinda layer the flavors throughout. A little Old Bay. And then last but not least, we're gonna use the chili powder we talked about. And again, that's going to give a nice color on the sand. What's, your, what's comfort food for you? Uh, comfort food, man, candy. Candy? <laughs> nah, um, for real though. I love desserts. Um, yeah. That's kind of like, sweets was like my go-to. Never had a cavity though. Really? Um, yeah, I never had a cavity. But um, That's impressive. Nah, I love just like different types of chickens, um, steak, barbecue. Right. Anything that's like, you know, soul food or southern food. That was like kind of what we grew up on, so. What city did you grow up in? St. Petersburg, Florida. Nice, I like, that's uh, near Tampa, right? Yeah, 30 minutes away, man, 727. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to boil our pasta noodles. I'm gonna use some chicken stock to add some flavor to the pasta. Um, I'm gonna you know, fill it up with water as well. If you don't have chicken stock or chicken broth, you can use water with a little bit of salt. You always wanna salt your pasta water. All right, so we found an angle that makes me look a little bit shorter, <laughs> um, but we're gonna go ahead and start searing the salmon and then we're gonna pop it into the oven. Uh, so I like to use avocado oil because it has a high smoke point. It's a 500 degree smoke point. And uh, it's also good for you. For those of you out there that care about that. All about health, you know. All yeah. about health, right? Just kidding. <laughs> From the candy guy. <laughs> 
All right. So the skillet is up to temperature now. We're gonna go ahead and lay the salmon in. You always wanna lay the salmon, or any meat for that matter, away from you. That way you avoid any splatter. You don't wanna burn yourself. Gotcha. And then press down for maximum surface area contact to get that color we're looking for. All right, so let me go so ahead. So while you do that, grab mine. There you go. Lay it away. Yep. Press down. Beautiful. So word on the street is you got your own YouTube channel on the way. Yeah, Tell YouTube. Us a little bit about that. YouTube channel coming soon, very soon. Um, I kind of just want to let people in on my life, you know, right. my, my everyday life of from video games to cooking to traveling to fashion. Um, it's something that I kind of just wanted to do. I feel like it would be a good way to let fans just see other parts of me they don't get to see outside of football. Right. So I think That's it was smart. a cool thing to do. You know, why not? When, the, when did you say the channel is, is launching? Uh, they're coming re really, really soon, actually. Um, got me a good YouTube manager, um, and we're working on some content. Got all kind of I stuff need a going YouTube on. Manager. Yeah, man, because I definitely don't have time, especially when the season rolls around. Right. Um, so, but I got some good, I got some good ideas, some good content um, that I'm going to be creating. So I think it's going to be fun. Nice. All right. So we got the color that we're looking for. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Got that nice blackened. There you go. Professional. No me, man. I like it. Man of many talents. Going in with some butter. We're gonna allow that butter to melt a little bit. Take a, a nice big spoon. Slide them up. Once the butter melts, we'll baste it and then pop it in the oven until it hits 145. Now it's time to uh, baste the salmon. So you want to tilt the skillet towards you and just flip the butter up onto the salmon. You baste it up. There you go. <laughs> we got a new base guy. <laughs> See our chicken stock has come up to a boil. We're using penne noodles today. So we're just gonna add those. All right, so we're gonna melt this butter. Once the butter melts, we're going in with some onion and some garlic. Let that sweat down a little bit. And then we're gonna add in our heavy cream, our uh, Parmesan cheese and some spinach. And make kind of like a cream sauce here. So we have uh, some butter, garlic and onions, which makes the house smell amazing. Next, we're going in with some better than bouillon vegetable base. Just a teaspoon, cause it's got a lot of salt in it. So you don't want to go crazy on that. First time seeing that one. Yeah, you could always add a little bit. So the key with like seasoning and stuff is you could always add a little bit more later, but once it's in there, you can't take it yeah, out. Yeah, can't take it out. So you want to kind of, you know, you only can add slow. so much water to it and try to. Right, uh, dub it down mm -hmm. a little bit. The cream will help with that too. So right now we're just sweating down the, uh, the onions and the garlic, letting it infuse the flavor into the sauce here. And then we're gonna add in that heavy cream. All right, so it's your show now. What we got going on? We got, we got a double fist going. Yeah, man, we gotta just We got a make little sure. pasta stirring. Yeah, can't let nothing burn. Sauce. Can't let nothing burn. Multitask, man, it's finest. Almost, a minute, minute, minute or two. All right, so as you can see here, we're, we've got a good boil going, so the, the sauce is reducing a bit. We're gonna add the spinach in there, let that wilt down, just kind of cook into the sauce. And then we'll reduce the heat and then add in the Parmesan cheese and then we'll season it to taste. So you wanna do this over low heat because if it's too hot, this is one of the common mistakes people make when they're making a cream sauce. If you add the cheese when it's sm uh, smoking hot, it'll start to separate and it'll be like super oily. So if you've ever made like a cream sauce or Alfredo or mac and cheese, and it, that's probably good right there, and it, uh, it gets real oily and cools at the top, that's because the heat was too hot and it caused it to separate. Use a trail mm -hmm. or coats the back of a spoon is another way to kind of test it. Tips and tricks, oh. yours truly. It should make it happen. <laughs> Come to the time where we gotta give it a good taste test, see where it's at, and then we can kind of adjust the seasoning. Try not to burn your tongue. I'm really bad at that. 
But it's heading on. It's good. Yes, sir. Probably doesn't need a whole lot more. I'll add, maybe add a little bit of garlic. Let the cheese melt a little bit more. Maybe just a hit of seasoning. Probably need just a touch more seasoning salt. Fresh it up. Sure. It's fresh it up. Alright. That'll be. Feel me? Look. That's garlic. We're gonna add salt to it. Yes, sir. Make it work. Throw a little of that in there. Not there much. There we go. Look, a little, Look a little at the light. technique, people. Hey, you gotta be flat, you know? <laughs> flat when you season it, so it'll come out smooth, you know? So that's, I like that. that's the one. Starting to thicken up nicely. And then when we add that pasta in there, a little bit of the pasta water, residual pasta water will go in there. And the starch content from the pasta water will help thicken the sauce a little bit more too. A little seasoned salt, and I think we're good to go. All right, so this is a team sport cooking is also. So we're gonna add in the noodles as you stir it into the sauce. Get the sound on. <laughs> All right, so now that we got that, get us a money shot. We got our pasta, got a little spinach in there. You guys can add whatever veggies you want. You can add asparagus, mushrooms, really whatever you want. There we go. That's an athlete size plate. We might as well use all of this, right? <laughs> we here. That's it. All right. But well, we got a backup. Salmon on top and some parsley. There we go. There we go. <laughs> One for the road. There's that parsley for a pop of color. Embrace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me guys, looking good. And we're going down with a little bit more Old Bay cause why the hell not? All right guys, I'm about to wrap this up. Nothing left to do but give it a taste test. I appreciate you coming through. Of course man, I appreciate it. We definitely it. gotta do this again. Let the yes, people know sir. where they can find you or follow you. Uh, all my socials, uh, MBS underscore 11. Uh, I had a great time, you know, I enjoyed it. Every second of it, learned a lot. You know, I enjoyed it. I had a great time, man. It was fun. Now let's give it a taste. Got to get a piece of salmon. See the salmon still nice and moist. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good That's job. It. Yes, sir. And there you have it, folks. That's my recipe for blackened salmon pasta. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.